Yeah, if it is an obscure realistic almost too real with updates like Numax and Sora, but with Kling's new Kling 2.0 version, it's making waves as the most realistic AI video generator that's out there. We're gonna be reviewing some of its generations posted on Twitter. So this is an image from Midjourney, turned into an AI video by Kling, and it does a good job. Bear in mind, Kling 2.0 is only available for their pro plan users and not the free tired versions. Another video of this meme where the guy is speaking over the girl, although the facial features are a little off, it seems to do a lot better than what we had before, as even the guy's movement remains consistent after peeking at the girl, and then his girl just goes absolutely mad. Here's a compilation of what a user made from Kling, and all of these shots are not post-produced, they're not edited, they're just made from a single prompt. And this is what AI has come to. Another example of this very fast paced environment, again super fast and super believable, this could be a scene out of a YouTube video or even a season for that matters. Another example where this image of Jason Statham is taken into an AI shot and although the pistol glitches at the start of it, but the shot itself was quite realistic. Kling 2.0 not only just generates videos, but you can also control the camera lighting with the camera movement. So in this particular shot, this is more of a smooth camera angle shot, but with the eyes being focused on. But again, the whole scene does feel AI generated. The smile and the expressions kind of seem forced, but they are better than what we have so far. Just the thing is, these are shots where you have a close up face shot kind of like a, what you have in prison but yeah it gets a little tricky with these shots but Kling 2.0 does a really good job focusing on these shots although there are certain glitches here and there the face does seem a little bit off jittery but overall not too bad of a job another example of an image to video using Superman and remind you all of these shots are AI generated all it took was prompts and images to generate something like this. The flying, the rolling around, the camera fading all seems quite on point and truly remarkable stuff. Another example that I find quite interesting is this shot that shows facial expressions and all of them seem super realistic, super believable. Again, if you were just scrolling by and you will believe what you are seeing, Again, looking super closely, you do get the AI feel to it. Another example of this animatish kind of a car themed video. And this is not CGI. This is not the movie studio we are talking about. This is just Kling. So quite interesting stuff that's coming out of Kling. This example of Deadpool, although when you look close, X-Men kind of glitches off showing this particular video with the kind of scene and the sequence it has to someone bro no one would assume it's AI generated so next up all of these are generated by Kling and crazy stuff AI in itself does glitch but we, when you combine or edit these videos or post produce them and work them to make them better, they go to a whole new level. Even the fight scenes in them, with some put it, with some effort put into place, with some nice cuts and trims, they are just remarkable. Again, AI is at the point where any of these videos could go viral and we wouldn't have a clue if they are AI generated. And honestly, with all this, Kling 2.0 is just on another level right now. The way it's generating these videos, controlling camera angles, lighting, facial expressions. We've hit the point where AI videos aren't just fun to do, they're actually believable. Scroll past them and you wouldn't even know they are AI. And this isn't the future anymore, it's happening right now.